out of 373 clicks, I'm getting 145 conversions. Uh, so I have a pretty darn nice conversion rate. Yeah. Um, and out of that $400 spend uh, and those 145 conversions, uh, we had 12 people actually book a call. Um, so I'm getting about 33 bucks per booked call um, as far as getting somebody to actually go through and schedule. You said you had 12 people um, yeah. do that? Okay. So that's about, yeah, 8%, 9% of conversions, um, yeah. which is great. And okay. the only thing that I think I might consider doing to up that amount was actually, you know, being a videographer and having just a text and voiceover video sales letter is kind of odd to me. So I might make a little um, addition to the video, you know, some sort of small intro where it's actually me on camera and then kind of cut over to the PowerPoint style stuff just to give it a more personal touch. Yeah. Um, just because that's kind of what these guys are expecting, I feel like. So I think that'll that'll improve the trust factor a little bit. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. So you've been building up your email list then too. Is it more than 145? Because you, you joined this before and get emails there? Oh, yeah. So this I've done four tests at this because I've been testing a couple different things. So if go, to I the, can, go, to the I, go to the lifetime in the top right. Top so for right. the last 30 days. Mm -hmm. uh, at the very top. Oh, yeah, this year's fine too. Okay. Cool, cool. And it looks like it's been actually performing better here yeah. more recently. Yeah, and that's partially because I've been really looking at like, you know, what targeting is working, what targeting isn't. I mean, every person that's booked a call has been male. Uh, so I've found that there's really no reason to target male and female with the Facebook ads anymore. Uh, um, I've also been able to adjust just some of the different targets and interests because they're either costing too much or uh, they're just not converting at all. Um, so it's just not hitting the right people. So I've been able to really get more clear at least on the Facebook ads, um, who I'm targeting. And then um, on top of that, this campaign number four, we actually got much better photos for, for our images because we had a video shoot before I left on my trip where we had a photographer with us. And we actually asked him to take pictures of us filming. So you can see in this right side. That's cool. All these are pictures of me and some of the guys I work with filming. So it just, it fits it a lot better. That's cool. That's good. That's good. And uh, I see there's comments on your ads. Are you, are you responding to those comments? Yeah. A lot, half the time it was really just people tagging other people that they thought would be interested in it. So it's never really been anyone saying much of anything. Cool. Um, but there, you know, I've been responding to anybody if they like tag somebody and okay. saying, you know, you guys should totally check this out. I'd be happy to talk to you on the phone. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, did you'll probably get to the point here. Maybe you're at this point now where you don't, like ads might take you half an hour a week because you just turn on and tweak and you'll have some ads do that you can probably just run for like the next year and like you don't really have to do much with. I think that'll get to the point where all you, you, you maybe have a few images and you have, you know, just some ads that just kind of always run and always produce good results. And as you get better and better results, Facebook's going to learn more and more about who goes through and uh and you'll be in a good spot so i don't even think facebook's ads are gonna probably take you tons of time every you know every week as you get going here yeah i don't think so i think the only big thing right now is just i think more honing in on what that phone call is like um yep. because the people that i did so i did have some sales calls yesterday um and everyone's super interested and for some reason, you know, I haven't been able to get them to close on the phone. Like some of them want to go and talk to their wife. Some of them want to think it over. Um, others want to actually get more information written down. Uh, but I've been getting much better at making sure that they don't get off the phone without planning a date where I'm going to call them back a few days from now uh, where we're going to kind of review things and talk it over again. Cool. Um, so I want to get past that point where I don't have to do that. Um, yeah. I just, I, I don't know if, you know, I need to have more practice or if it's just, yeah, I'm not totally sure just yet. Yeah. No, cool, man. Thanks for sharing that. I think, you know, everybody always gets way better with practice. 
Um, are you recording your calls? Um, so I did record one on the last round that we did, um, put it in the group somewhere. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. No, I listened to that. Um, yeah, I've been getting much quicker with them. So instead of taking about 45 minutes, I usually, uh, they've been averaging somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes. So they've been much better on the timing. Cool. Do you feel like in the calls you are, one, are you kind of following that process that I map out? Uh, more or less. Yeah. And okay. I mean, they're, they're, I, I do get to a point in almost every call where it kind of like comes to some silence. Like I've said everything I need to say and they do get to this point of like, yeah, like I'm definitely interested in that. I mean, they clearly vocalize that this is what they want to do. Huh. Um, but there's something about, they need to think it over more. They need to see it all written out on paper. Um, it, it I don't know. I think there's still just some skepticism with them because as videographers, they do see these people market stuff like this all the time. Yeah. 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 Totally. Okay, cool. And what's your price point right now? Uh, $1,200. Okay. And you do have a payment plan there? Yeah. Or, um, just three payments of 400. Okay, cool. Well, I think what, what I would recommend, I mean, do you feel at all like you're kind of like a little like slump with the sales? Um, I kind of have to see after the next few calls, I have like a bunch more over the next like seven days. Um, so I, I mean, I, I think that these guys on the follow-up call are still going to be very interested in it. I don't think it's necessarily a slump just yet, but I kind of have to see how the next week plays out. Yeah. 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 Well, no, I mean, I, I can get in, in slumps and yeah, it doesn't really even sound like you're in Well, I can get in slumps where it's just, you know, sales are not <laughs> happening and, and I, I kind of bring that into, you know, each next call. And so I think when that happens, dude, I've just got to like step back and just like kind of like reframe myself and just be like, all right, like I'm not going to bring any of that into this. Like I've got control over this next call. Like I have something very good to offer people. I'm here to add value. But more than anything, I want people to, to work with me so I can change their life. And, and I think even just kind of like resetting and like going into the next call, like totally free of all the last calls. A lot of times when I, when I, when I can like get to that point and do that, that really helps me. And when I, when I don't do that and I just keep rolling and I don't really stop and I like think about it all, then, then I keep bringing in like almost just this negative, you know, attitude into a call where I think it's just not going to close. So that'd be something for you to think about, man. It's just like leaving all that in the past, just kind of bringing in like, you know, new thoughts about it. Like you're a good salesman. You can close. You have something, you know, very good to offer these people. And like always going to your calls, like with that, in mind rather than man the last calls didn't close i don't know why i can't close type of deal okay yeah but they just yeah i mean leave all that in the past like maybe you can close you can pull this off you have something really good to offer and, and i think when you like strip away kind of you know where people are at and like meet them heart to heart then then, then good things will happen there yeah you know, i think you really do understand their pain really well you do um, you know, have the authority in this funnel to kind of challenge them and like really help them out. So yeah, I, th I think, I think you'll be great, man. Cool. Um, Kayvon, sell or be sold, be the best sales guy ever. Kayvon, you're a master salesman. What do you do? <laughs> I'm going to mute you. I muted you, Kayvon. Yeah. I, um, I, well, as a, as a sales professional where this is my background, you guys have a script, honestly. And if you just follow that script, yeah, I, I can tell you right now, I'm at 100%. So anyone that calls me that I, or I've called and has answered, I have sold them. I haven't never heard a no yet, so which is pretty cool. Uh, but I've been having troubles now. A lot of people are booking, but then they're not on the other end. And I don't know if that's just because more volume is coming and you're just going to have to uh, and then a lot of people are fake emails. So I'll send the email back and then it just gets bounced back and said, well, why are you even booking if it's, if it's you know, wasting my time? So that's going to be a problem because this, this pro, like what we've doing in ClickFunnels in my program, it's amazing, but I'm still trading dollar for time, right? Yeah. And I got to figure out how I can package that. But I don't know. I'm at a point where like I'm getting bookings, but only like probably two or three or four a week now, max. Okay. And I want to get like two or three or four a day now. Right. If, if half of them are going to be fake, then it's like, you know, on Monday I had four people booked. I was all pumped, but only one was actually real. That's which I weird. Sold, which I sold. <laughs> That's awesome. 
That's interesting. Um, do you want to pull up your stuff and we can take a look at it here? Sure. Uh, what stuff? The back end? Uh, maybe pull up your Facebook ads and then maybe your, your VSL page. Okay. Second. Let's take a look at that here. Let me do this here. The VSL page I can do right here. Okay. But. How did you end up getting your Facebook ads rolling again? I know you're getting flagged there by. Yeah, they were flagged and flagged. And I, oh, what was it? There was one word we changed and then they got, uh, they got passed. So uh, and right now, we've only been seven days actually going solid, probably eight days now. And it's been amazing. Gotcha. Huh. Uh, it's, Interesting. It's, yeah, it's been really good. So what, was, what was the word? I got. I'll find that out for you. I'll ask my girl. I'll get yeah. that. Um, I forget exactly what there was. Just one word, and then they all got uh, um, passed. And it was the wording in the when you when you posted it in the Facebook, right? So. Gotcha. Interesting. Gotcha. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. Let me just uh, go through here. Have any of you guys ever had problems with uh, getting Facebook ads approved or accounts flagged or anything like that? Kind of a the only, the only issue I had one time was there was one image that I had found on like Google image search that I was using and the ad ended up targeting the guy that it was a picture of. <laughs> and he basically oh, yeah, you said that. his own photo. <laughs> yeah, uh, you said that. That's so funny. Um, yeah, well, what I was going to say to you, Zeph, and you, as you're getting things rolling, like you've got what, 550 people on an email list, things like that. Like you're starting to, to turn other people's owned traffic, you know, Facebook's own traffic into your own owned traffic. And so, you know, you've got paid traffic, but then you've got, you know, media that, that you own, you've got your own audience that's building up here. And, and you want to be thinking about how to really kind of leverage that, you know, you don't have to pay for those people anymore. So you can you know, one, add all those people as friends. You know, I recommend anybody that books a strategy session with you guys, add them as a friend on Facebook, you know, and put them into a little list um, on Facebook that you can just be posted on your Facebook wall. That's free. Um, you can email them. You can, you know, invite all them. You can upload them into your Facebook page and invite all them to, to like your page um, on Facebook and then run ads to people who like your page. And so kind of one goal is one byproduct of this is, is yeah, the DSL works. It, it, you know, quick profit, you can, you know, make money from that. But it also builds up a lot of long term value that you can go kind of mine for dollars over time. And so yeah, so just be thinking about that. As you're, uh, as you're kind of doing this, you're building up a real asset that you can actually go out there. And there's people that'll buy from you literally one year from now that opted in the other day, didn't answer anything, didn't ever talk to you. And they said, I've been watching you. And uh, I don't want to move forward here now. Can I still do this? And, and so it's gonna, it's gonna pay off, you know, for the long run here. So yeah, be thinking about that. But you already have kind of an email list too from other stuff, right? Yeah, I've got about somewhere around a thousand people through the podcast and the book stuff. Cool. Cool, cool. So you want to see the quick funnels first or you want to see the ad manager? Uh I'd like to see the ads first, actually. All right. Well, I gotta share. Do I gotta share my screen? Is that yeah, right? can you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Share screen right in front of me. Is my screen being shared? Yep. All right. So you know that I have a girl that helps me with this, so you can help me tell you what you want. You can have. Let me yeah. know what you want. To do Let's go to um. These are the VSLs here that we're promoting. Okay. Here. Let's go to VSL campaign four. Campaign four. Like 27,000 people reached. Does that mean 27 people saw it? Or just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, only, that's crazy. And only 64 like did something. <laughs> yeah. So and are you using Ad Espresso? Yes. We're using that. Actually, could you pull up the Ad Espresso? Oh. I think it'd be a little easier to, to look through this data here. All right. Well, do some talking because I'm going to take some time pulling that up. So okay. I'm going to cool. stop sharing for a second here. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, a couple things that I um, I learned from Facebook last night is I was just I was on their website reading a lot of different articles and stuff like that, just kind of straight from from the mouth of Facebook, and they put out some really good stuff. Where I think a lot of people are out there 
learning Facebook ads from, you know, guys like me or guys, other people, when Facebook actually just tells you a lot of how to run ads on their stuff and they give you little tips and it's like, you'll read stuff and, and they'll be like, Oh yeah, always use Instagram and Facebook combined. That was something I read yesterday. They've done a bunch of tests and you know, they find advertising both Facebook and Instagram, you know, really in all of their tests and they do like, you know, these massive tests um, converted better. Um, so something you guys can test is always making sure to run Instagram as well. Um, and then the other thing that I, I read was how beneficial it is to, to get the frequency up to about two times per week. And so people that are, you know, seeing your ads, they can start to recall your ad and like they recognize your ad after, you know, one time a week, but to turn people into buyers, like purchasers typically see your ad, you know, more like two or three times per week. Um, before they become purchased. And so that's the thought on frequency for you guys. It's probably even a little higher, honestly, with, with our types of services, high ticket stuff. Um, and they need to see your ads, you know, multiple, multiple times to actually become buyers. And so we'll just make sure that we're running, running enough of those. All right. Hey, Peter, what's happening, brother? Welcome on. Can you guys see my screen? Yeah, we can. I'm going to unmute you here for real quick, Peter. Hey, what's up, dude? You're unmuted. Hey, how's it going? Sorry I'm late. I was stuck in a meeting. No worries, man. No worries. How's, uh, how's Texas? Hot. <laughs> what is it, like 100? Uh, yeah, it was like uh, my wife and I got in the car last night. It's like six. It was 108. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool, man. We're just going through some funnels here. So I'll okay. uh, mute you here again. Good deal. All right, Kayvon. Yep, this is you. So let's go ahead and we're going to actually just took control of your screen and just click through these things on the yeah, right. Yeah, control. Totally do it. All right. Um, what, do I got to do something? I'm actually not seeing my ability to to do that here. Um, hold on. Oh, hold on. I think I found it. Okay. Request remote control. Approved. Boom. You're in. Go. Okay, great. So let's kind of see here. So you've got 45 conversions on this campaign. Is this okay? This is for all of them. We'll, we'll hop into this. So we just launched one because you know there's the videos like the 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 ads where you where it shows like playing a video. Yeah. We tried. We just launched that too. So I heard that that does good conversions as well. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah, totally. And you just filmed some really good videos, right? Yeah, we just did some great videos. I mean, I got it. We're trying to promote that Harvard speech too. So just create awareness. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. So I'm seeing, you know, relevant scores dipped a little bit, but creeping back up here. And that's because more people are, you know, like, I see it's a lot of likes, a lot of likes, um, you know, good amount of shares actually. Um, be sure you're clicking on this and like checking those comments, responding to people on comments. Okay. Um, and you can just do that, you know, from here. Just click on it. Okay. Just click on that and you can just open those and, uh, and comment back to people. Okay. Um, a lot of times it's just nice for an ad just to, just so people can see that you're a real guy and you're commenting on ads. You're not just, you know, some scammer. Uh, let's see here. So images. I can't see anything here. Something showing up there or no? No, it's not showing up on mine either. Okay. So it looks like whatever this image is, is converting actually a lot worse than this one. And yeah. The, the way I'm telling that is it's got a worse click through rate. It's got a higher cost per click. Obviously the conversions are way worse, 0% conversion rate. And so it looks like you pay. Where that, whatever that one is. How do we look at it? Um, I mean, we can just we can pull up another one here real quick. Um, yeah, we'll go find that one here. But yeah, so you spent six bucks and got you know no emails even off of that one. So that's really been driving up um, your cost. So let's look at the interest. See what interests are working better. So success three sixty five looks like it's working well. Goal setting you know has about the similar click through rate. Has a similar cost per click. Um, you know, it's just not converting, but I would let this one run longer. Like usually if the click through rate's about the same and the cost per click's about the same, it's kind of the winner. Um, I usually let it keep running to get some more data here. They're just, yeah. I'm just, this one's reporting wrong, obviously. I mean, eight clicks, nine conversions. So it's like not even totally accurate. 
Um, but keep an eye on that one. I guess the biggest thing is that image. And to do that, we'll go up into ads reporting here. Uh, it's because you got an ad blocker on, I think, is what. Do you want me? Do you want me to take it off? Take it yeah. off. Yeah. If you want to, yeah. If you want to take it off. Is it not like right there? You can stop sharing screen or whatever. Um, Pause ad blocker. There you go. Okay. Okay. Let me. You're in control. You're still in control, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so let's take the primary stat image and let's just see how many conversions each one has gotten. We'll graph that. And you can see here that this blue one is starting to really take off. Take off here. Which one's that? That is this one here. Oh, wow, okay. You see this one's had 20 conversions. Um, yeah, these ones, you know, are way lower. This one's got the highest click-through rate. Um, the cost per click's similar on these. Um, but yeah, it looks like this one's the best, um, which, you know, kind of makes sense to me. It's kind of a guy who's either some sort of motion involved in this. I don't know, he kind of seems like lonely or, you know, something. Um, or these are less like that. So, so, dude, what I would do is I'd probably pause. The dude, image. just do it. Do it for me. <laughs> So we'll pause all these ads here. And then what I would do here, Kayvon, is I would create three new images to compete against this one. And I would, okay. make, sure, I would make sure that they all have a very different feel. So when starting off, I like to test things that are very different. And so, you know, you got this image here. I would try this same image with like maybe the right hand side of it is red and it's got some text on it. That's the headline of your DSL. So try okay. something like that. We're same image with a little bit of text on it. I'd try just an image of you, you know, take a okay. screenshot off one of your new videos, you know, nice videos and put that up there just so they're kind of getting used to your face. Okay. We have that. Yeah. We have one okay. that's great. It says discover. Okay, cool. And I would do one that's, that's, that's just blank of you with no text on it. And then I'll do that same picture with maybe half the screen or something with text on it. That says, you know, free video, you know, like a little bit of a, you know, a couple words on it. You don't want it to be too much. You can keep it under 20% for sure. Um, but I would do that. We're all of a sudden, we're kind of testing very different feels of images and starting to get a feel for, does your audience want text? Do they not want text? Do they want you or do they want stock images? Um, and you'll start to learn a lot from there. Um, yeah, that's just good. That's just good testing practices, guys. Is to when you start testing that, have all your variables be very different. You know, you want to have everything as far apart as it can, so that you can learn very quickly. Because when things are really similar, you've got to have a whole lot of data for just to, for one to start pulling away. We want to we want to learn without having to spend that much money on it. So, question for you. Yep. We just launched like I think what, like maybe like ten days ago. And for me to have that many people booking, it, it, it's a pretty good thing, right? Yeah, no, I think so. I think it's great. It, it is interesting that people aren't um, aren't actually booking Showing that up. call. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's take a look here real quick. So interests. So this one. Where's that? Oh, Tony Robbins. It looks like he's had a lot of um, conversions there. And then you see here, success 365. I want to see who's booking the strategy sessions though. Man, this is crazy. Um, okay. Oh, these are the strategy sessions. Have you had this many strategy sessions that have been booked uh, or that have filled out the application? How many is there? I don't know. 30? No. 15. You think this is off? Wow, 100%. How, how many has it, has it more been? 10? How many, like, are you talking about people who booked strategy sessions? People who have completed the application, even if they haven't booked. 10, max. Hmm, okay. Um, we'll want to look at this because it's firing incorrectly then. Um, it's showing this many, but 
Yeah. So like what you'll see, and this is pretty typical that you'll end up having a few interests that like, that like book all of the, all of the stuff. And dude, I wonder, is this, is there any chance this is actually just the email opt-in? Do you think well, that, could be, uh, these ad sets produced 45 or 40 email opt-ins? Okay. BSL funnel strategy session. Let's see what the opt-in one says here. Huh. Okay, something's not quite firing right here. So how do we make sure it gets fired right? Sorry, everyone else who's watching this, but this is good learning of what not to do. Right yeah, no. What not to do right here. Dude, seriously, this is, but this is what everybody goes through. So this, is, this is probably really helpful for people because this stuff's always happening. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check and see that the pixels are in the right place. I'm going to come up here back into the business, business.facebook.com. I'm going to pull up the tools. And what I want to look at is the custom conversions in this case here. Okay, so we got VSL funnel opt-in, VSL funnel strategy session. This looks right. Let's take a look at this one here. So the opt-in. So this is your URL for your landing page or for your um, VSL, right? Yes. Okay. This video. I hope. And this is the one for Let's Talk. Um, that, that, that's what happens after the application, is that right? Let's talk. Is, is, that, is that the one? Sure, I don't, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm gonna go back into the ads manager. And let's customize these columns here. I'm going to create um, columns that are and we're going to redo these to fit the actual campaign here. So I'm going to do DPC and we're going to do links as a cost per click. I want to see how much that costs. We're going to do um, we're actually going to use this custom one. So opt in. So VSL funnel opt in. Then I also want to know cost per VSL funnel opt in. And then we're going to do strategy session. I want to see how many strategy sessions are booked here. And I want to see the cost per strategy session. Yeah, that'd be good to know. And. That should probably do it here. Let's also see. Um, I don't think you can do it on this. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. That's a custom one here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this. It's going to be VSL funnel stats. Use this. Next. Okay, cool. So that should actually set as default. Okay, so this should be um, what we want here. So VSL campaign four. So it looks like it's saying, okay, you paid two dollars and eighty cents per click on average. That means you got did I double this one. Oh, registrations. That's the same one. So thirty-two people have entered their email. Um, so that's 19 bucks per email, which is a little high. And then why is this duplicating like that? ESL funnel. Okay, sorry. Let's do that. I 
violence. If you guys have any questions about what I'm doing here, or anything that you've seen in yours, you can type that in the chat here as well, and we'll talk through that. Um, okay, so this should be set up right. Well, for whatever reason, this one's just not firing here. This one's firing the same one. Um, any of you guys see what's happening, maybe? Is you running around why that one would be firing? Why isn't it like? Do we know why it's it? like? I mean, is this like when it's not firing? Is this something I should be worried about? Well, I think the pixel's wrong. Yeah, that's a good thought. Okay, Kayvon, can you pull up this Let's Talk page? Let's talk. Okay, well you're in charge, but you want me to? Yeah, you can take it over. Copy. <laughs> So that's that's to my schedule, like to my calendar. Okay, um, and this happens, and then go back to your VSL page. Actually, can you do that? This one, yeah. Um, and open up the. Okay, yeah. The um, wait. What's your behind the scenes? Okay, and then click on the video one. The video, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Behind the scenes video. Okay, I think that was your URL there. And then click schedule call. Schedule call. Uh, okay, I see what's happening. One, I think that that, okay. Yeah, let's talk. Let me go back. Um, oops. No, you're on one. Yeah, go up to uh, here. No, go to the right here. To the ads, and was it? Oh, no, I want to go back to the business manager actually. Okay, okay cool. So URL contains my my cave on clickfunnels.com slash let's talk. But what's happening here is so you've got the schedule call thing first, and the application after that. Yeah, and so that's why it, it's it's firing whenever anybody hits this page here. So it's saying if anybody hits this page, what it really needs to be, if you're gonna do it with schedule call first, is it needs to be this link here. That shows the people schedule the call. Okay, so can we do that? Yeah. Um, because what do you, I thought you guys said that it's better to have the application after, because when I went through with you guys, it was the application then schedule call. Yeah, and 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 that works just fine. Again, it's not, it depends a little bit on different markets. That's that's a that works just fine. Um, what if we're not having the application? Is the application? No, I need the application because I need to unbox it. Yeah. yeah, I think you'll want the application. Well, um, I need it because it helps me right away. Because my question is like, that's how I sell them, right? I, I I get right away what their weaknesses are, and then I add tack. <laughs> there we go. All right, so oops. how do I get that? Can you paste that in there? Me? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we want call app. Wasn't that the URL, guys? Call app. I think that was it. This is going to be complete registration. And I just want to double check. Yeah. Call dash app. Great. Wow. URL contains call app. Let's go next. Mm, I'll call it the same. Oh, 
Is that why it wasn't firing properly? Uh, well, again, it was just firing at the wrong thing. It was firing before they'd done anything. And basically, anytime somebody hit this page, even before they scheduled or did anything, that was firing. Okay. So what we're going to do here to go get that running, I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to open it up. How do I change it from saying click funnels to launch me? Well, how many, what's happening when people get to this page? What's happening? Yeah, not many people are filling this out. The only people are filling the only people filling that out, which is good for me, are the ones who book a strategy session. Yep. Because I don't want people filling it out if they're not, you know what I mean? So I kinda like it like that. And when people fill up when people fill out a strategy session, how many of them actually book? What percentage of them actually book? Which percent sorry, I'm uh, talking about the people that actually go into my calendar and pick a time yeah. with me. Then they move on to the application to which I get, and I get it all the time. Like it's like everyone that books a call does the. Does the okay. Okay. I can, if they don't, if they don't book the, if they don't, if they book a call, but they don't give me the uh, the uh, application, then I, I I'm kind of screwed because I don't know who they are or anything about them, right? So I'm but, going in. But that's never happened, right? What you're that's saying. Never happened. No, because they're excited about it, right? They book okay. that time. Really excited. They want to do everything. I get asked today sometimes. It's quite crazy. Whoops. Um, okay, cool. So what I did is I just went and went to that page to trigger. Cool. So I triggered that new one just by going to the URL and just hitting it. So now it's triggered that there's somebody there. So what we want to do, I'm just going to delete this one here. How's David doing? David? I'm David. No, David Phillips. Oh. I just see him. I think that's all I see on here. Is anyone else on this call? I'm good. How's it going? I'm just listening along. Is this helpful for you guys? You guys ever run into troubles or feeling, uh, is this helpful to see it kind of all set up or troubleshooting it? Okay. You did, you did mine like two months ago, so. <laughs> Pretty good now. It's same. kind of it's kind of the same thing. I mean, yeah. If you haven't run into these problems, you will, and uh, it's kind of good to learn this. Okay, so cool. So what we've done, we've gone and redone that. Now I want to go back into Alespresso. Now I don't think we can change the. Um... Okay, so what you would do now, actually, like in ads reporting, now it's not gonna fire yet, but it'll fire from here on out. Is oh, it okay. to the image and you saw what? Um, I need to refresh. So if you wanna refresh um, your ad espresso right away, you go to settings, Facebook ad accounts, and then you'll need to, is this it, KU1? Yeah, K one's along, yeah. You can click sync. So it starts syncing that. It takes a little bit of time sometimes, but um, yeah, if you ever need to go do that. And then come back down here. Oh, that's the video. You can go to ads reporting here and come down we're looking at the image and then cost per conversion. Again, that's going to be, we, we don't want to use that conversion. We always want to use these conversions here. So again, like, you know, VSL funnel opt-in cost per conversion, that's for the lead. And then it hasn't updated yet, but it'll say VSL funnel strategy session and it'll say, you know, booked strategy session or booked call because that's what I called the new one. Again, it hasn't updated yet. And then you'll be able to see moving forward that that's the right one. So 
yeah, like when you go create like a new campaign, I think I'll just show you guys this here as well. Copy campaign. So Kevin, I would leave that campaign running. Again, we turned off a lot of the images. I'll leave that campaign running. Okay. Now do number five. And then I would change these images here. So change that, take that out, take those out. Now I'd add three other new images. Okay. Behind the scenes, great. Free to watch, show them your best life now, great. Yeah, I think that's good, uh, good copy there. Okay, Instagram. Okay, and then I'm gonna refresh these pixels, so sync the pixels. It pulls the new pixels that you made into here. So we're gonna go VSL funnel opt-in. And then instead of strategy session, we're actually gonna go to strategy session booked call. So this is gonna be your new pixel that you're always gonna use, Kayvon. Okay, well, tell, I gotta tell. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. booked call. That's the one to use here. Great, come through here. A 2535. And you, you, know, you can go in there. Like if you go back and you see like what you, like there's probably some audiences that you can cut out of this as yeah. you launch this. Like you obviously want Tony Robbins in there. You want, three, you know, but there'll be a lot of them that you can cut out. So I'd probably cut this down to maybe, you know, five, five to eight audiences. Yeah. Um, I'm just kind of trim the fat off of there. And then I'm just going to save all this. So yeah, let's get this down to like eight, the top eight, maybe even the top six okay. and proceed. You, know, you can do $50, you know, a day for those six. So yeah, that, that's going to help when you start trimming off the fat, you'll start getting more calls. So you're spending the same amount of money, but it's yeah. Working better. Um, I'm not going to say, I like that click. For offsite conversions, it's a little opt-in. That's perfect. Automatic bid and sweet. So yeah, dude. The biggest thing I would do is go see which um, which interests are not working as well. And then we would do that by say, so you going back to VSL campaign number four. Yeah, you know, let's just pull up the. Um, I kind of like doing it from here. All ads. I mean, seeing how you're there, you might as well just delete those interests now. Then I, but then I'll be doing it for you again next week. If I teach you, uh, if I teach you, you'll be rolling and you won't um, need me anymore. We don't want you to do that, yeah. I don't want, I don't want to work for you, man. No, I won't. I, mean, I, I pay good dollar. I, get, I pay <laughs> pretty, pretty <laughs> I want to teach you how to do it so then you can get a bunch of other people working for you. Um, okay, cool. So this is the, the opt-ins or no, this is the clicks. Okay. Yeah. So the clicks, so you can see, okay, Tony Robbins. Great. Um, this personality quiz looks like you spent 37 bucks, 16 opt-ins, zero clicks. So I'm probably going to turn that off. Actually, I want to do it by, um, I'm going to do it by conversions actually. So the personality quiz is out though. Out. Okay, so yeah, Tony Robbins has done that. Um, looks like the success one. Oops. Cool, success one. I mean, this one's this one's hot. I mean, this is this is way better than Tony Robbins. I don't know how big is this audience. I don't even know what that is. Success 365? Yeah. Well, it's going to make you a lot of money, so I'd, I'd look it up. Uh, but you can see Tony Robbins here. You're spending, you know, you're spending $1.24 here. You're spending $24 here. But this is giving you an email opt-in of $19, which is kind of high. 
So I'm going to bump this thing up to five bucks. You don't want to go too fast here. I recommend adding a couple dollars per day. Um, and again, I've, I'm I've got this recorded, Kayvon, so you can send this over to your girl here. Yeah, please. And then I'm actually going to scale Tony Robbins back here a little bit. Okay. Sure um, let's, let's look here. So we've got self-help and self-improvement as an audience. It's got a click-through rate much higher than these other ones. Um, I also want to see cost per click is important here. Okay. So looks like, yeah, we got self-help here. So it, it's giving you emails for $7 compared to Tony Robbins at 19. Um, but again, it's just only spending two bucks a day. So I'm going to bump this up to five. Peter McKee, you have any idea what that means? Got some, some cut happening here. We'll try it again later. I'll, I'll refresh the page here in a sec. I'm back. Show, show me it real quick. The CSRF oh, token is invalid. Please try to resubmit the form. I don't know what a CSRF is. I'm just going to redo this here. Guys, Peter builds really great software. So that's why... Uh, so I go straight to him. <laughs> okay, cool, Zephan. We'll see you, man. Thanks for um, Kayvon. You look in the chat. Zephan was adding some ideas for uh, targeting interests. Thanks so much for doing that, uh, Zephan. Okay, so, yep. And Karen, we'll absolutely look at your phone over there. And yeah, any questions you guys have about your own stuff, type them in the chat and uh, we'll get those answered here. Okay, Kayvon, okay, so I'm going to come back here to conversions. Okay, again, so I bumped up. We're going to bump up self-improvement here up to five bucks. All right, that worked. Addicted to success is you know, producing some stuff. A little expensive, but let's see what happens if we bump it up a little bit more. Grant Cardone is giving you some bookings. Let's bump him up a little bit. And then we're going to turn a lot of these other ones back down. So turn them off. Okay, so TED Talks is not delivering anymore. That's probably a good thing. Success Magazine. That's expensive. Let's turn that off. Personality Quiz. Let's turn that off. Sophia's off. Okay, self help. You can turn this one off. And then, yeah, so basically, all I'm looking for again, I'm looking for things to be in the KPIs. I'm looking for conversions that are happening at a good rate. I'm looking for clicks that are costing not too much money, you know, less than $2. Um, I'd like for conversions to be less than 10. Um, I'd like for click through rates to be close to 1% here, ideally over 1%. Um, so I'm looking for really low um, click through rates. I'm shutting those things off. And then what I'm going to do, the way to scale this thing, guys, is to, okay, cool. So was, this one actually is, uh, it's, just not, it's not even any conversions. So anyway, okay, but you can go through and look at the rest of those here. And just throw them all. I just basically, you're just saying go down to three of those and just go hard with those. It's better. I'm saying that, yeah, you will eventually, this will be true for all you guys, you'll have some like workhorse audiences. You'll have some that you're just like, always give you lots of conversions, always do really well. And, and really the kind of the goal here is you wanna get a group of those that do really well and, and hopefully that adds up to about a million people. And it's really great when you can get like a million person audience that you can just run ads to all day long. And no, you might, you know, here in two weeks, just have a group where you just run at Tony Robbins, Success 365, you know, these top five here, and, and you don't even mess with anything else for a while. You've got a million, you can just run those for a long time. So that's kind of the goal here, is to figure out which one of these audiences works and converts kind of the best here. But you just did an initial run, and so all I've been said, when you make this new campaign here, Sorry, yes, yeah. where did that go? 
Just go up uh, at espresso, right? You're up. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so when you go back into like the new so aspect, you know, those other two we can just pause too. Yeah, I'll just let you go through there here at the end though. Um, oh man, sorry about that. What's happening? Well, that's a guy that I'm supposed to be on the phone. It's all good. Go back. All right, I'm losing right stuff here. So I have espresso. I don't see how it's pressed though. You just delete it? Is that up here? I can't see because your thing is there. No, I don't know. Yeah, I can't see anything. Okay. Anyway, yeah. anyway, we're, we're kind of done there, but just make sure you delete those other interests that aren't working and, okay. um, and do that. Okay. But cool. Um, and do you guys have any questions about that? Kind of how to optimize those ads, what we're looking for, how to scale those ads. Um, again, just look for things that are within KPIs, turn off the bad ones, and then slowly move up the good ones here. All right. Um, Karen, let's bring you on here. Okay. I'll stop sharing. Okay, cool, man. Yeah, no, it's looking good though, Kayvon. All right, Karen. Hey, what's up, Lawrence? Good to see hey, you. Good to have you on here. Hey, guys. All right, Karen, what's the scoop? So you've been, uh, you've been running ads. You finally uh -huh. got it all up. You're getting booked calls. Yeah, Things so many good. so fast that I turned everything off okay. um, because I had to keep extending the calendar out. Um, and almost all of them showed up for the calls. So I'm, I'm having two issues. One... Um, I may need to rethink my offer some because nobody can afford what I'm offering. Okay. They all want it, but they don't have the cash flow to support it. And um, so I've got some ideas brewing for that. Um, my ads are doing pretty well. Some of my KPIs are off. The, each conversion is costing me about $7. Um, and my calls are costing me, I think, about $40. So that's not too bad, but I'd like to get that conversion the you know an email address to cost me less than yeah. five dollars. Um, wow, that's super high right It is, but my email. audience, my well, audience is super small. Yeah, well, as I was say, the VSL that's such a high rate there. Mm hmm. Because like what? I mean, every one out of every five and a half people that sees the VSL puts in an application. Yeah, I think so. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I can pull up. I've got Ad Espresso pulled up. Okay. Let me let me get it up here. It just and I can share it with you guys. It was closing some stuff when you said you were ready for me. I've got Skype open and stuff. So, cool. okay. Um, okay. And now do I? Um, you just muted yourself, but yeah. Okay, yeah, I just share my screen, right? Yeah, click share okay. screen, optimize for full screen. Optimize for full screen, share screen. Okay, can you see it? Yep. Okay. Okay, cool. So on that, so yeah, seven bucks a conversion. Um, let's go to your main ad set that is um, working the best. That's this one. This, uh, uh, this is the ad set. Yeah. Yeah, this is the ad set. Uh, VSL copy. Okay. It's like really fuzzy. Really fuzzy for you guys. I can't really, I can't really read anything. Oh, no. I don't know if it's just the internet connection. It might be. Um, yeah, it's a bit fuzzy. Let me stop it and I'll try sharing it again and see if it fixes okay. it. I mean, your video is clear right there. Yeah. Do you have, make sure you click optimize for full screen. I did. Okay. Let's try it this way. I huh. just shared Chrome this time instead of the whole desktop. Yeah, it's still, it's still rough. Okay. Well, um, that's a bummer. I'll read off the. I'll read off what you want to know then. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just tell me. Um, so again, basically, what you want to do is you want to go in there and and go to like ads reporting. Yeah. And then you wanted to see which interests are are really the workhorses. Yeah. And there's and there's probably just a few, right? 
Mm -hmm. And when I do that, my audience gets really, really, really small. So yeah. I worry because it's small to begin with. I can't get it over 300,000 without throwing in something huge like in general, like acupuncture, which yeah. has millions of people. Okay. On it. Um, okay. And well, what I would do then is, are, are you familiar with audience insights? Oh, yeah. Okay. And have you gone in there and looked at other, other oh, audiences? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hours of time. And uh, what, what's it saying? Um, when I put in um, the, um, the stuff that I like, it's too small of a data set for them to give me any results inside the audience insights. Okay. Um, so instead, I've been going in through the Facebook um, interface, you know, the front facing public interface and putting in pages also liked by people who like blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, um, I get one or two specific things that aren't as interests and then all sorts of general stuff like better homes and gardens and stuff that's, you know, everybody likes. Okay. So it's been really hard for me to try to get my audience any bigger without diluting it. Okay. Well, let's take a look here. So what are your, what are your best interests here? Um, all right, let me pull up my spreadsheet. Um, is anybody here not, not familiar with audience insights? Are you guys using this? It's might be new to some people. Uh, I really didn't even, I wasn't even using it until not too long ago. Oh, I love it. This is where you can go um, learn a whole lot about your people and yeah. uh, find other really good ad sets, start to scale and just find a, a much bigger audience. Mm hmm. I'm I've got the, my tracking spreadsheet. Let me just pull it up here real quick. I closed everything when I was sharing my screen. And they're all really specific names. Otherwise I'd just like tell you. Um, okay. So here we go. All right. The best ones are um, try um, National Certification Board for Therapeutic Massage and Body Work. <laughs> it's long. I'll just assume that's it. Yeah, Nash NT okay. NCBT. Yeah. Okay. You want me to give you more or just one at a time? Um, you're using these down here? Let me look again. I was looking at something else. Yeah, yeah. I don't have massage nerd. That's okay. the only one I'm missing. Okay, I would try that. What's okay. another, what's another interest? Oh, well, I guess you're using these. What are your other best ones? Um, try. Let's see. Um, Pacific College of Oriental Medicine. Oh no, do yeah, do that one first. Pacific College of Oriental Medicine. Okay. And what's that? None of that stuff was coming up for me the other day. Hmm. Uh, what's one more that's your big one? Like, what, where are all your calls coming from? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm basing it on. Um, Uh, Associated Body Work and Massage Professionals, ABMP. Okay, and you've got Massage Magazine. Is that giving you anything? Yes, but they're a little less qualified. Give me lots of clicks, not as many, but you can put okay. it in and see okay. what comes up. So, yeah, Massage Nerd, you got Massage Today? Yes. Massage warehouse sucks. I already deleted it. Okay. Well, one, I'll just yeah go through these. Yeah. And just, and just kind of see. I mean, it's like here's the thing. Like, like Facebook is optimizing. Like, like they're learning who's going to opt in. Uh huh. And so as you scale, you'll start to actually remove these. Yeah. And, and you can start to have acupuncture on there. And yeah, it's a massive audience, and like most of them are not for you. Right. But Facebook's going to shortcut all that. And they, they know that. And, and they, okay. they've got information from your conversion pixel. 
that says immediately wipes out 90% of them. And they're going to show it to the few people that actually are wanting to opt in. Oh. And, so, and so as you scale, you don't even actually have to like nail the audiences. They okay. help. Like you want to have some parameters on there. Um, how many people have, have opted into your email? Or um, email? Total is about 140. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, yeah. This is a little ways away, but once you get that, once that hits 1,000, okay. create a lookalike audience off of that. Yeah. Uh, but you can actually get to the point, like when people like scale campaigns really big, I mean, you'll, you'll move out, you know, you'll have those ones that you have, um, but then you know, you'll start just doing acupuncture. Um, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's do, what was that like biggest one that you said, like national something? Yeah, national certification... Um, let's try that. Yeah, National Certification Board for Therapeutic Massage and Body Work. Okay. Anyway, so, so basically what you'll do is, though, as you scale, you'll start to, you know, you just run it at acupuncture. And, yeah, it's a massive audience. And, yeah, most of them are not for you. Mm -hmm. But you let the Facebook pixel start doing the work. And you can start to broaden things a little bit. And, and I know people that are spending like tons of money that literally they have no parameters on it. I mean, maybe some, maybe they'll do 18 to 50 and uh -huh. it's running no interest, nothing. All they're doing is optimizing for the conversion pixel, but the conversion pixel has, you know, so many thousands of hits on it that Facebook really knows who's going to go hit that. And they've got a pretty good idea. And so we really yeah. want, we want to let Facebook and the conversion pixel like do a lot of the heavy lifting for us at scale we're kind of just getting started by giving it really good like places to start mm -hmm. open it up more and more. So like I would try things like acupuncture, try things like massage, try things more like that and see if it starts to get better and better as you can. When of, should I add those things in? How long should I, I, would just, I would just maybe let do, the algorithm train? I would just maybe do like one at a time. Okay. Um, one at a time, just keep an eye on it. Okay. Um, and, and to like, do that, I have to copy the ad and then add the interest, right? Yeah, I would do that. I'd have like okay. a new campaign with that. Yeah. Um, and also what you can do is I will go into Okay. This is pay funnels. Okay. Here's our software that we were testing some ads out on. Um, if I wanted to, so say, okay, so I've got this ad set here. Well, let's say it's performing really well. Now, what a lot of people do, and this, this works to some degree, I just showed you that with Cave. What a lot of people do is they think, if I want to get this to $100 a day, I need to go to $40 a day and save that, and I need to go to $60 a day and save that. And we, we scale vertically by increasing mm -hmm. the budget. And, and that can work to some degree. It works up to a certain point, but you'll find at some point this is going to go out of whack and it's not yeah. going to support it at 40 or 60 or whatever. So what I recommend for you guys to do is start every ad set out at five to $10 and then increase by, you know, 10% or, you know, a few bucks or, you know, just kind of walk the dog up to a certain level. And you'll see that, okay, it's working really well at 25, but then I went to 30 and things went really out of whack. And so what you do is you go back the next day, bring it back down to 25, see if it kind of levels out over a few days, and then go into the power editor. We're actually just going to duplicate, duplicate the ad set. Mm -hmm. This is actually the power editor. You can just copy the campaign and do that. I think this is actually a little bit more effective. Um, see, so pop up into the in power render here. Okay, I've got my campaign. Let's mm -hmm. hit conversions. This is the goal here. Ad sets. And mm -hmm. then inside of that, there's three different ads or three different images here. And so, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go click on this ad. I'm going to duplicate or add set, duplicate it. I'm going to keep it the same as exists. So you would do this for like, you know, your, that number one ad that you have. Mm -hmm. Add set, go in there and do this. Create new campaign. Now you don't want to just run it totally like against the other one. And so I'm going to bring the budget back down to 10 bucks and just start it from there again. 
Um, and then I'm actually just going to change the age range by one. So I want it to run a little bit different auction. I don't want to think of this as the exact same auction can compete against itself. And so you can kind of trick it a little bit by, by moving the auction um, by a little bit. So instead of 65 plus, I'll do 64. And then if I were to create another one, I'll do 63. And, and, and that's why you can kind of horizontally scale a campaign is okay. by not, not just increasing the budget, but by duplicating the winning sets. Uh -huh. So once you do that, you can just go and review the changes. I can upload this into, you know, if I couldn't continue to upload that into the, uh, my new ad set and it would create a whole separate ad and that one should mm -hmm. perform, you know, similarly over time, it might not right out of the gate as the other one. And that's how you can start bumping up your really good ad sets over and over. Okay. Um, if I want to make adjustments to like age ranges or something, um, can I do that in power editor on my ad? And then will those changes sync over to add espresso or yeah. do I need to duplicate the ad and kind of start over? Um, if you want to just change age ranges, uh -huh. um, I would probably create a new ad set in, okay. the, in the power render to do that. Okay. Um, as opposed to just like changing the same one and then letting it roll. Okay. Every, basically, every, every, every time you make a change in a campaign, the algorithm kind of takes a couple of days to figure out. So mm -hmm. we kind of minimize that as much as possible. Uh, I'd probably create a new one. Okay, so when I copy the ad to create a new one, does it bring some of the algorithm data with it? Or does it start over from scratch again? It starts over, I mean, it starts over from scratch. Now the pixel has more data on it. Okay. Um, like, I guess with that winning ad set, did that thing start off wild and then end up good? Or was it kind of like fairly good from the beginning and just got a little bit better over time? Um, it was working out itself. It had some bumps and humps in it. Yeah. So every time you create a new one, duplicate an ad set, it'll probably still have that. Mm -hmm. Um, but that, but that's okay. It shouldn't last more than like 48 hours before it starts to, okay. mm -hmm. um, some, uh, although sometimes I'll launch a new thing and it'll just go wild and for like, mm -hmm. and I'll have to like shut it off. So it's not always. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the best way to do it. Okay. It, just to kind of create a new ad set like that. And then with okay. like your new age range or anything, mm -hmm. then, uh, then upload that. So yeah, that's how you can start to get to, you know, hundred dollars a day, $200 a day. Um, if you feel like scaling the initial budget up, it started mm -hmm. to take, it started to take it out of whack. Okay. Yep. All right. And just to clarify for an ad set. So in ad espresso, if it takes four images and puts it with two different headlines, that's eight ads. So that would be between 40 and $80 a day for ad spend. Well, so yeah. So how ads, how ad espresso or sorry, Facebook, you know, sets it up. So there's campaigns and then at the campaign level, they want this being, where they hold the different objectives. So in this case, mm -hmm. that objective, uh, mm -hmm. like conversions, um, at the ad set level, this is all the targeting. So all mm -hmm. the targets. So if you make a change in targeting, if you go male versus female, that's going to create two ad sets. Gotcha. All the ads are, are all of the like ad copy yeah. images, learn more buttons like that. Mm -hmm. So if you just you were running it at men and you wanted to test, um, you know, different images and different like. Um, headlines and stuff mm -hmm. it's created all at the ad level. Yeah, I believe it wouldn't create multiple ad sets for that. I think it'd just mm -hmm. be ad level um, because they're all kind of the creatives and all that. And so for that, yeah, I mean, I still wouldn't start that again. You still just have one ad set. And so I'd probably mm -hmm. still start that at like 10 bucks and kind of move it up from there. Okay. Um, if you wanted to do it differently, you could like do two different, Eh, you just have to test like a few different things. You can't test like a whole bunch of like um, ad image stuff at one time. Mm -hmm. Test like the images first, then, you know, test like the headlines and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause what I did for my first set of tests was three images and one became the winner pretty quickly um, against 13 interests. So that gave me a whole lot of ads. Yeah. So that would have given you 13 ad sets and, and three ads in each. So, mm -hmm whatever, 30, yeah. 30, no, whatever. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. My screen didn't share. We'll have to figure yeah. that out because, um, that's so valuable. Yeah, um, totally.
my battery was almost dead. So I had okay. to plug it in. That might be part of it. Gotcha. But, um, yeah, yeah, not sure there. Great. So I've got a lot of a lot of uh, road ahead of me, and I'm really excited. My my sales calls are so much fun. I haven't closed anybody on the phone yet, but okay. um, uh, talking through this stuff is like second nature. Yeah. So it's yeah, um, yeah. it's good. I was I was just skyping with a woman in Belarus. Um, <laughs> She lives in New York, but her family's in Belarus, so she was vacationing in between school sessions and stuff. So it's yeah. just amazing what you can do with us. Yeah, no, very cool. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, I, I just I know you said you had like a different offer and kind of in mind or different price point or whatever. Oh yeah, I've got like a whole big different thing in mind that's that's related, but breaks it down into smaller pieces. That way they've got smaller cool. price points. But I do it all by group, so I don't have any one-on-one -on -one anything yeah. invested in it. So it's like totally multiplying my time and beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, really cool. I'll let you know when I get that rolled out. All right. Sounds good, Karen. You rock. Thanks for <laughs> your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. You bet. Um, okay, guys. Is anybody else? I, don't even, I can't even see the screen. Who all is here? We've got you, me, Brent. Cool. Any other yeah. questions? Or are we good to run here? I'm good for now. I'm in, I'm in overload. <laughs> okay. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and head out. All right, cool. Uh, Thanks, Dave. Bye. Yeah, see ya.